Hey everybody, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. We're picking up right, right exactly where we left off uh, last Monday uh, during the short 100th live stream. It's the 100th episode of Farmer's Dynasty. I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't seen it yet, go, go back and watch it. You can find it in the playlist. Uh, also, uh, there is a link down below this video and that video as well for the 100th episode $30 Steam gift card giveaway. Uh, if you want to get in that giveaway, go look down below the go look down below the video here in the description. Hit show more, and you'll find that link just down below uh, in the description there. Uh, you'll probably want to be involved in that uh, to win yourself thirty dollars. You don't; it doesn't have to be anything special. You can just click the link, follow the directions. It's two easy steps, and you are in. Um, now that being said, this is episode one hundred and one on episode one hundred and two. So next Monday, uh, when we do our live stream again. Uh, it may be later in the day again. It may be one of those where it's kind of later in the day. I'm probably still going to be wrapping up. Uh, I'm out of town currently working. Uh, so it will probably be later in the day. Uh, but that will be okay. We'll still get it done. We'll mow some of this down while I'm going through here. I don't know why. I just feel like mowing. Uh, we have a bunch of grass down here to mow too. So we're going to do this for a little while today. Uh, and I may skip most of this. I may just uh, commentate over some of it and then... Uh, oh, we're really hungry. All right, well, let's eat before we get... Holy moly, yeah, we're dying here. There we go. Uh, also, we need to sleep, but we'll do that. Uh, we'll mow for a little while and then do that. But either way, um, why is that still up? Go away. There we go. Um, either way, yes. So on episode 102, we're going to... Uh, we'll be the That'll be the last day. So uh, the following Monday, the episode 103, I will announce the giveaway winner. Uh, and we will get them their $30 Steam gift card. I'd really appreciate everybody for supporting this channel over the over the last year and a half. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's tuned in to watch all of these uh, Farmer's Dynasty. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to a couple of people. Uh, Silly Sally has done a lot of playing and a lot of research uh, on Farmer's Dynasty. She's one of the great people in our community that hangs out in live chat just about every stream that she can. Gaming Gargoyle, another one. Uh, he's got a ton of videos on his channel. Gaming Gargoyle uh, on YouTube. Look him up. Uh, I'll put links down below for his stream as well. Or for his channel as well. Um, I know he hasn't been doing a whole lot lately. He's had a lot going on. But he does have a lot of backlog videos to watch. If you want to go back and check those out. Uh, subscribe to him. And Peanut. And I'll leave his link down below as well for his channel. He does a lot of videos on Farmer's Dynasty and farming simulator and American truck sim stuff like that so I want to give those guys a big shout out right here off the bat uh, for all of the stuff that they do um, uh, Sally has done a lot of research Gargoyle's done a lot of research on this game uh, a lot of testing this and that back and forth and uh, Peanut has a few videos quite a few videos out on uh, testing different things in Farmer's Dynasty so uh, go go check out Gargoyle and Peanut their links down or down below uh, make sure you uh, go at least go check their channel out. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not telling you to go subscribe to somebody just so you're subscribed to them and never go watch their videos. Go watch one of their videos and give them a chance. I think you'll like their content if you like my content. Uh, you might like their content better. Honestly, I like their content better than my content. So, uh, but yeah, go give them a chance. Go give them a look. Check their videos out. Uh, they're extremely helpful, extremely informative, and uh, I, d I mean just generally good content creators. So uh, definitely go give it a look. Uh, but either way, I'm going to work on this field for a few minutes. And if I have anything interesting to say, I'll bring you guys back then. Uh, but until then, yeah, just, just, let's do a little time lapse, I guess, maybe. Okay, so I know I said I was going to do a time lapse. Uh, I'll probably cut the first part of that out uh, in post. Uh, mainly because these trees are just all in my way down here. Um, I can't turn the tractor, so we're going to get rid of these trees. This is my property. Don't be saying anything to me about cutting somebody else's trees down. This is my land. I'll cut them down if I want to. I'm gonna get rid of all these crazy little bushes down here, I guess. There we go. Uh, we got most of them. Let's go see if there's any on the other side, maybe. Uh, I just don't want to have to like try to avoid them. Can I cut this tree down? No. Speaking of cutting trees down, uh, house flipper. Man, cool update. I know that this this is pre-recorded, by the way. So I did a live stream of House Flipper uh, this past Thursday. Uh, if you missed the House Flipper series, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. All right, there we go. Now we got that out of the way. Uh, but they added uh, cutting trees down. 
fantastic. Uh, go check out that House Flipper series. Check out Subsistence. Check it out. It's a fun game. It's a really fun survival game. Uh, we're going to do some ATS uh, next Wednesday when I get back. Uh, I currently do not have any uh, way to live stream this week, I don't think. I think I'm going to be pretty jam-packed this week. So, um, all, all you see, Everything you see this week is going to be pre-recorded. There may not be a whole lot of content, but I definitely wanted to get you guys some Farmer's Dynasty stuff out. Uh, mainly because... Uh, I know people really enjoy it. It's one of those series that I need to be doing more videos on, so I definitely don't need to be missing videos. And I missed two weeks worth of videos on Farmer's Dynasty, so uh, I want to try to get something out anyway, even if it's a 15 or 20 minute video. And I know people hate those. They like the long videos, but uh, even if even if this just turns out to be 15 or 20 minutes long, uh, after all the editing and stuff's done to it, then uh, that's what we got. But I didn't want to leave you guys without a Farmer's Dynasty video and kind of show you some, some progression in the game that I'm making. You know what I mean? Uh, if that makes sense. I just I don't want to miss any more episodes of it if I can help it. So either way, uh, I may not do a time lapse. I may just I may just cut through this and then uh, we'll get to bailing some some grass up maybe. Uh, I don't know, but I'll be back if I have something to say. Alrighty, we are just about halfway done with the field now. Uh, this is about halfway. Normally your uh, your scarecrow ends up about halfway of the field, so uh, we're about halfway done. Uh, it is extremely late. It's 2100 right now. Uh, so, uh, and I have 17 sleep left, which means I'm going to be extremely tired. It's going to be hard to control the tractor, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's actually the case. It should be. Uh, the tractor should get harder to control. I would love to see that your screen starts getting a little blurry, you know what I mean, as you get tired. So something similar to like American Truck Sim, where your screen starts kind of fuzzing and blacking out a little bit. Uh, as you get tired and as it gets late, that'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, to make you go rest, you know what I mean? Like you can black out and crash into something. If not, uh, it'd be kind of neat. Uh, I don't, I don't know that it's a necessity by any means, but it would be kind of cool. You know what I mean? Uh, so I think I'm gonna make this pass, and then we're gonna go back up to the house and sleep for a minute, uh, take a nap, as it were, and then get back out here and finish this up. Uh, and then we'll just start doing some bailing. Hopefully, uh, I'll get, I'll get some of this bailed in this episode too. I don't know that I'm gonna get all of it done. I am kind of on a time restraint. I'm trying to get a bunch of other stuff recorded. Uh, for this week, I don't know that I'm going to get a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff recorded, but I'm going to try. So, um, be be aware that there will be more videos coming out this week. Uh, subsistence tomorrow night uh, or tomorrow, I guess, during the day. I'll just release it during the day since I probably am not going to be streaming tomorrow night. Um, I'm probably not going to be streaming at all this week. So, uh, and if I do, um, it'll probably be over on Twitch because I'm going to try to get my YouTube videos pre-recorded for the week. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll try to get all this done uh, and have our regularly scheduled videos out, uh, but uh, I don't know for a fact. So, all right, let's uh, let's turn it, park it right here, and uh, we're a little we're, we're actually a good bit over halfway at this point. So, uh, let's turn all this off and let's head up to the house and do some sleeping. Let's go take a nap. There we go. Go get us a nap. And uh, get back to work, I guess. Rex is asleep. I think we fed him in the stream so last week, so no need for that right now. There we go. All right. Grab a bit to eat there. Sweet. It's sunny all the way through. It's uh, Saturday, September 6th right now, so we got... The rest of September to finish getting everything planted. Uh, the idea was to plant canola on every field so we could maximize profits. I'm trying to get to that million dollars and I've spent quite a bit of money um, on buying fields and buying equipment, stuff like that here and there. So we're back down to 584,000. Uh, we were up to almost, uh, I think around 800,000. We were getting pretty close to that million dollar mark. Uh, but I want to hit a million dollars before the full release of this game. Now. Uh, last week, if you missed it, guys, Top Lits did a live stream on Wednesday uh, for uh, the big update that's going to come out. It's probably out. I'm probably just not able to, to do the update because I'm out of town. Um, and if something happens and the update comes out, I'm able to get something recorded. It will be out uh, later this week. So I'll try to get it recorded and put out after this video, uh, which will be late. It'll be after the after the update, probably. Uh, and it may it may be today. Like... Normally, normally they sh ship out updates on like Monday. So uh, I remember live streaming this on Mondays and seeing the update pop up right then. So um, 
Uh, they typically used to put out updates on a Monday for me. So Monday afternoon for them. Uh, if that happens, then I will not be able to do the update until I get back from out of town. Because, like I said, I am out of town at the moment. Uh, a few other games you need to be looking out for. Um, Diesel Brothers. Diesel Brothers, uh, the game episode will be out on Saturday this week. Uh, if you missed them so far, uh, I haven't set up a playlist for them yet. But I will soon. You can just go to my channel. Uh, go to the channel and just look up the Diesel Brothers videos. Uh, go look through. I've got a plethora of videos to choose from. i got a bunch of old videos uh, of, of games that came out you know, a year and a half ago or whatever. A lot of good uh, like single player series, uh, click and point adventure style games. Uh, a couple different ones of those. Um, and then lots of different uh, short series on uh, stuff like Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. Uh, lots of stuff to choose from on the channel. Uh, if farming is not your forte, uh, there's a lot of good games out there. Um, and a couple that I'm going to start playing as soon as I can. Uh, hopefully, Mr. Prepper will be out by the time I get back from out of town. Uh, if Mr. Prepper is back when I get back from out of town, I'm going to start recording it too. And I know I've said before that I've got too many games that I play, and I do. I do have too many games. Uh, but I'm trying to really, really limit my time on them. So, um, it could be shorter videos and more games, or less games, even cutting games I'm already doing, and do longer videos. So, it's probably going to be shorter videos and more games, if I had to guess. Uh, of the pre-recorded stuff. The live streams are still going to be the same. Live streams are easy because I, ju I literally just go live and I stream and then we record and that's it. At videos, I have to record it, I have to edit it, then I have to render it. Rendering a 30 minute video in 1080p takes uh, 40 minutes, roughly. 30 to 40 minutes to render. So, um, and then I have to upload it, which takes another 45 minutes to an hour, depending on YouTube. So, it there's a there's a lot more time invested in the in the recording and editing and uploading and rendering process than there is uh, just streaming it because when I stream it it's there it's done it's over with um, there's no editing there's no uploading there's no none of that uh, so there's a lot more time invested in pre-recorded stuff which is why I tend to do shorter pre-recorded videos they're easier to uh, manage my time uh, so uh, that's why you end up with some shorter videos at some point but uh, there's lots of, lots, of, lots of games that I plan on playing coming up, or at least trying out. We may not do Let's Plays on all of them. We're definitely going to check them out, though. Uh, and they're all simulator-style games. Uh, there's a couple of survival-style games that are coming. Uh, Mr. Prepper is one of those that I've really been looking forward to uh, just because it's kind of unique in the sense of the idea behind it, but not really unique in the sense of the idea behind it because it's, uh, it's built kind of like Fallout Shelter, uh, and it is called Mr. Prepper for a reason. So I don't know like in full detail how the game's gonna lay out. Like if you have a certain amount of time, like kind of like 60 seconds or 60 parsecs, uh, a certain amount of time to get stuff together to prep or whatever, but it is like that 2D bunker style game, like uh, Fallout Shelter. So, uh, but we're definitely gonna be playing it. Um, that's what I'm probably gonna do a little series, a little short series on mini series. And then there's many other uh, simulation style games I'm gonna be trying out, so. Uh, keep an eye out for all those in the future. Uh, and also remember, I'm going to say this again. Uh, I know I've, I'm probably harping on this way too much. There is a giveaway going on right now for a $30 Steam gift card. All you can do is subscribe to the channel, follow on Twitch, click the link down below in the description, and you can get it from there. Um, also, uh, I don't plug Nitrado enough in my pre-recorded videos because I don't run my ad. Uh, I may run it at the end of my, my pre-recorded stuff from now on just so it's there. Uh, but I would like to give a shout-out to... Uh, Nitrado server hosting if uh, you need a server and you want to host it yourself and have your friends play with you and all that kind of stuff there's a link down below for Nitrado um, it's in the top of the description there uh, it is my affiliate link grab it it'll help me out if you want to rent a server uh, it helps me out a little bit with them so big thanks to them for partnering us and uh, helping us out with our farm sim 19 server and also, we have our Outlaws of the Old West server hosted on there as well. So, uh, big big thanks to them. If you need a server, go check them out. I guess um, I'm, I'll go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll bring you back then, maybe? Uh, yeah. yeah, let's do that. I will finish this up, and I'll bring you back.
Okay, so I'm bringing you back now because I just realized that I've been doing this the hard way. If you set the cruise, you only go 16 miles per hour mowing. If you just hammer down on the gas, you go full speed, but it still mows and you don't lose anything. Uh, so that's a thing, I guess. Um, it's way faster. I don't see it being feasible, but it's way faster for sure. Uh, I could have been done with this field a long time ago. Because we're going double the speed. More than double the speed going downhill. Definitely double the speed going uphill. So, uh, yeah, we'll be done with this in no time now. Then we can start bailing it up. Uh, first, though, do I need to... Do I, I think I'm just going to sell the straw bales. I'll probably sell the first load of these. Because uh, we don't need all of this. Uh, we're just trying to get enough enough bales to get, get our cows through wintertime. And the grass bales uh, do more for the cows than the straw bales do. So... They also sell for more, so that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, if you just go wide open through here, it does the same. You're not really missing anything as far as I know. Also, Peanut has uh, some really good videos on uh, harvesting at full speed, even though the little pop-up thing comes up uh, for now. Now, they may fix that in the next patch, so don't uh, don't be mad at me if they've already patched that and I missed the update. And uh, if you go fast now, you're losing crop instead of gaining crop, but he seems to get more crop out of his uh, harvester when he goes full speed. And you can harvest fast that way too, so uh, not a bad idea, I guess, for now. Uh, unless it gets patched. If it gets patched, then there you go. You know. But uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Look at that. Almost done already. Could have been done a long, long time ago had I just went full speed to begin with. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about the game? What do you think about the direction they're going in? Are you happy they're still updating it? Are you looking forward to the full release? Are you looking forward to console? Because I know a lot of you guys are waiting on this on console. Uh, I know a lot of people gave up on the game, and I really hate that, uh, because it's such a good game. It really is. It's a fantastic game. Um, I wish I wish people would come back to it, and they probably will once it releases to console. Uh, are you one of those people that kind of gave up, but you're coming back once it gets released? That's that's kind of things that, that I would like to know. Um, just out of curiosity, more than anything else. It's like, I, I don't have any ties to the to the top lits team at all like I've never even talked to anybody from the top lits team I would love to I would love to um, but uh, I never have so it's not something that I have a whole lot of uh, um, control over of course uh, I would love to talk to them one day and find out you know hey what's, what's your next project coming up how's this looking how's that going you know what I mean like I'd love to ask some questions but um, that may be for a different time and a different channel so, uh, but we're done mowing, so that's good. We can grab the baler and go uh, get with that. And I may just, uh, one of those trailers is not completely full, so we may uh, just load what we can on there on the first load, just fill both trailers up, and then go, uh, then go sell it all. So, uh, lower, please. There we go. I hit the button a couple times. All right. Let's go grab our baler and trailers and go start baling some of this up. I don't see this process taking too terribly long because with the baler you can go pretty wide open. It's got a pretty wide pickup pattern in it. Uh, it's semi-unrealistic. Not completely, but uh, it picks up outside the range of the uh, where the physical uh, pickup is on this thing. So... There we go, and off we go with both our trailers. I always feel like I'm in a rush when I'm recording videos because I know I'm in a time crunch. And I know it comes off that way too when you watch the video, you're, man, he's talking fast, he's just blowing through stuff. Because uh, I always feel like I'm in a rush because I'm, I'm always in a time crunch to get stuff recorded. So I'm never... I'm never really relaxed. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Let's get some bales, uh, some grass bales in here now. Boy, it's just spitting these things out. You get more grass than you do straw, that's for sure. Uh, of course, I mean, you are just harvesting. Um, when you when you harvest it, you're really just mowing grass. And there's a lot more of it than there's straw swath. Straw swath is, is a byproduct, so grass is the main point of doing grass. So I guess that's why you get more. It makes sense, I guess. All right, one trailer almost completely full. Like I said, we'll take these and sell them. And then uh, that big field over there, we should have at least three or four trailers full, uh, if not more. 
So we'll do the cleanup afterwards, of course, like we always do. Whatever we miss, we'll come back and pick up. I'm gonna try to get stuff around the uh, around like straight lines um, the first time around. Uh, but after that, I may be missing some, so. Alright, already starting on the second trailer. We'll start going back and forth up and down the field now. There we go. We can get a view of both trailers here. Uh, I mean, this thing is spitting them out pretty quick, honestly. We're going faster than the grass is rendering in. That's pretty funny. Alright, we got our little cleanup done on this side, so that's good. Uh, if we can clean up as we go, that'd be fantastic. And the camera view is on the trailer, if you're wondering why it's, like, all wonky looking. I think it's on the first trailer. Yeah, it was on the first trailer, which I'm okay with. There we go. First trailer view is fine. Second trailer view is, like, I feel like it's too far back, um, if that makes sense. But, yeah, as you can see here when I'm turning, it's staying focused on the trailer, so it's kind of awkward, honestly. All right. Lots of bales to sell. Uh, hopefully we can fill this trailer up with this field and then get at least two full trailers off the other field over there. That'd be great. Alright guys, I'm going to continue on with this. I'll bring you back when we get ready to go sell, which is not going to be very long. So for me, it's going to be pretty quick. For you, it's going to be a snap of the fingers. And there we go, our tractor even grew. Uh, we were at the bell market. Snap of fingers for you, it didn't take me much longer uh, to fill the trailer on up. As you can see, both of them are full. Enter the bell market. 78 bells for 3,000 USD. Yes, we will take that deal. And then we will uh, head back. I need something with a little more horsepower. As I got more bells on that trailer, it, it uh, seemed to weigh it down a bit. So we had to go a bit more here. Uh, I'm going to stay focused in on the trailer as we get back over there. And... Uh, the camera view is going to be a bit wonky for a minute, but uh, it's easier to stay focused on this trailer so I can see uh, all the trailers back here with me. Uh, if I can get away from the trees, that's the bad thing about being zoomed this far out. There's trees everywhere. There we go. I think we got out of the majority of it. Now, heading back. Uh, get more bales. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, one of the things I've been thinking about is I, I changed all the colors to Twitch Purple over a year ago. Uh, I think I'm going to switch them to my channel colors, which is blue and yellow. Uh, so, I may do something like blue on the tractors and then yellow on the implements. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you would like to see a blue and yellow channel themed color scheme uh, going on. Implements yellow, tractors blue, uh, tractors yellow, implements blue, whichever. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys might want to see. I'm a man of the people. I will I will take suggestions. Uh, but we don't have very much left on this field to finish up. Uh, the big field is going to take quite some time to do, I feel like. Uh, it's not going to be too bad, but it's still going to take a while. So, Oh, we need to uh, switch back to the tractor real quick. Turn this thing on first, if that gets it going. It did. Sweet. All right, now we can go back to... Trailer view. There we go. Uh, this tractor is a bit bigger, so it's going to take a little more to turn as we get closer to the end here on this little small field. Uh, may have to make some some crazy S turns or something, Z turns, U turns, eight turns, uh, lots of different turns to get back a harvest line here. But I'm going to continue on with this one, and uh, I'll bring you back. Uh, when we get full trailers again, I guess. I'm just going to play for a little bit. Alrighty. We have two full trailers. And a very large portion of this field still to go. Uh, so we're going to go sell these. See how much money we get out of all grass bales. 72 bales. All grass. See how much money we get for them. We got 3000 and some change out of our last sale. So maybe we'll get some really good cash out of this one. Uh, I bet we do, honestly. I bet we get some pretty good money out of this. Uh, I'm going to take some shortcuts through some fields here. Uh, through some grass areas and such. I own the fields. I don't own all the property around them, but I do own the fields. So, 
Uh, no harm done. I wish you could harvest these sunflowers. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, you got the corn header. It'll do. It'll do sunflowers. Some of them. And they make sunflower headers, which would be really cool to see in the game. Do sunflowers at some point. But until then, we'll uh, we'll go with the crops we got. Make us the most money, which is canola most of the time. Um, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to add more silos because right now you can only store 50,000 liters which is not a whole lot when you're talking about doing 15 to 20 fields you know what I mean like you end up having to sell most of it and I've, I think I've got all the trailers that are in the game so uh, even if I stockpiled it all in trailers and all in the uh, uh, silos I still wouldn't have room to harvest everything that I own and I don't own that many fields like there are people that own the entire map so all right, bell market. Let's see what it sells for. Thirty-six fifty-eight. That's not bad. That's pretty. Seventy-eight bells. Sorry, seventy-eight bells. Thirty-six fifty-eight. That's not bad. That'll make a dent in our uh, in our money situation there. Uh, guys, that is gonna have to do it for this video. I am out of time. I know this video after editing it down is probably pretty short compared to what I normally do. Uh, I do appreciate you guys to continue watching and your continued support. Um, hopefully next Monday I'll be back on the live stream, episode 102, and then the following, episode 103, we will uh, we'll announce the winner of the giveaway uh, for the $30 Steam gift card. Again, if you want to get on that $30 Steam gift card giveaway, just look down below in the description. There's a link. Hit the Show More button in the description. There's a link right down there. Uh, also, check out Peanut and Gargoyle. Their links are down there right below that. Uh, so give you plenty of stuff to watch while I am not streaming this or not not when I don't have videos up for it. Uh, if you just want to watch Farmer's Dynasty, there's plenty of other people out there that do it. So uh, keep that in mind. Good content creators, just not quite as big as people like Frithgar and, and Daggerwind and all that. We know that. We, we all know that we're not, we're not that caliber. Uh, but there are lots of other good content creators other than those guys. Those guys create very good content. Fantastic content. I love watching both of them. Uh, but there are lots of people out there that a lot of people have never heard of, like me, like Peanut, like Gargoyle. So um, feel free to share this video around. And uh, share it with your friends. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on whatever social media sites you use. Send it to somebody in an email. Whatever you want to do. Uh, send it on to them. Uh, that way they can discover the good content you're watching as well. Uh, I appreciate you guys so very much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Later, everybody.